Sussex is pushed aside. Has and Meg absolutely furious in helplessness at being insulted by Charles. Before we start, please, like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. During the Platinum Jubilee celebrations Prince Harry and Meghan Markle felt very snub after a sweet gesture was made by Prince Charles, according to a royal expert. Speaking on the latest episode on his YouTube channel, royal expert Neil Sean discussed Charles and Kate's exchange and the Sussex's feelings. As they met in St. Paul's Cathedral for the National Service of Thanksgiving on June 3, Prince Charles exchanged a sweet moment with Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. The inheritor to the throne was spotted blowing a kiss to his daughter-in-law and this off-the-cuff gesture by Charles has reportedly led Prince Harry and Meghan to feel insulted. Speaking of Charles' gesture, Mr. Sean said, according to a very good source, that's one of the things that Harry and Meghan now feel very slighted by. This is because of what Prince Charles did in the cathedral. He added, in fact, some are saying, this is the biggest insult that they've received since they departed, of course, and decided to become Megxit. The royal expert continued, as I've said many times before, you threw down the gauntlet, you said all of those things on TV. Prince Charles, the Queen, Prince William, the Duchess of Cambridge, however, Sophie Wessex, are entitled to react in any way that they wish after what went before. He added, Prince Charles, Catherine, William, Harry, and Meghan was there really a bigger insult than that. I would just say that it was an off-the-cuff thing that Prince Charles did and perhaps, he, just never thought about it as they, William and Kate, were right there in front of him. Mr. Sean added, and, why should he, given what they've done to him? So fast forward, it looks like this particular slight could end up being one of the biggest talking points in Prince Harry's book. William sparks fury leaking gossip about Harry and Meghan. Speaking of Charles' gesture, Mr. Sean said, according to a very good source, that's one of the things that Harry and Meghan now feel very slighted by. This is, because of what Prince Charles did in the cathedral. He added, in fact, some are saying, this, is the biggest insult that they've received since they departed, of course, and decided to become Megxit. The royal expert continued, as I've said many times before, you threw down the gauntlet, you said all of those things on TV. Prince Charles, the Queen, Prince William, the Duchess of Cambridge, however, Sophie Wessex, are entitled to react in any way that they wish after what went before. He noted that Meghan and Harry were second-tier royals and were sat in with normal people, for wanted a better word so of course, Charles couldn't do that, to them. Mr. Sean added, and, why should he, given what they've done to him? So fast forward, it looks like this particular slight could end up being one of the biggest talking points in Prince Harry's book. Prince Harry and Meghan's visit for the Queen's celebrations was their first official time on UK soil since their royal exit in 2020. In January 2020, the couple announced, via their official Instagram account, that they were to step down as senior working royals. In the statement, under a photograph uploaded of the couple, they stated that their decision came after many months of reflection and internal discussions. On their way to the Invictus Games in April although it was their first official visit, the couple did make a quick pit stop to visit the Queen at Windsor Castle. During the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, the couple brought along their two children, Archie and Lilibet. Unlike her elder brother, Meghan and Harry's daughter was born in the US and the Jubilee visit marked her first time in the UK. Over the Jubilee weekend, the Queen met her namesake great-granddaughter, who turned one on June 4, in person for the first time. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comment, thanks.